Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just doing a quick quarto video. It's been a wee while since I did a quarto video, but I got asked a question in one of my other videos. And that question was how can you change the font in line? So within a piece of writing, how can I change a font just there? And I had a bit of a search and couldn't really find a good resource. So I thought I would make a video for you. And I'm going to show you how to change the font color, the background color, and what the font is. For each of these, all we need to do, uh, we can see we're here in my Quarto document, I'm on the source tab, is put some square brackets around the text that you want to alter. And then with our curly brackets, inside of that, we're just putting our CSS statement that is going to make the change we want. So for this first one, this text here, style, we want color red. For this next one, style, uh, background color, yellow. For this next one, we're changing the font. For font, we use font-family, and I'm changing it to times. And just to show you how we would do a two-word named font, we've also got font family, and I've got Korea new. Where we have Korea new, because there is actually a space in there, so it's actually Korea space new, we need to put our single quotation marks. Because we're using double quotation marks elsewhere, it's important that we would use the single quotation marks in there. So for each of those, square brackets, the squiggle style equals the thing we want to change and the parameter. If we jump over to visual, which gives us a look at that, we can see the text has changed to red. It looks like it didn't do the background color, but we will see in a second it actually has, just not in the preview. We can see times font there, and we can see career new font there. So we've been able to make all those changes in line. If we hit render and we render this, we can see that once I generated uh, my document using render, we've got our red, got the change of font, but it has actually added the background color as well. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on there with it not showing us in the preview, uh, but we can see here that it definitely does work. It's probably the less, less common of these that you would want, I would imagine, being able to put something like career new for some computer code or maybe changing fonts on the fly for a particular reason or some colors uh, more likely but we can get background color as well so just looking at that one more time square brackets around the bit we want to impact and then just our css for those changes that we make I hope this has helped uh, this has been in response to a question that i got on this I will be back soon with more R stats research and random stuff.